now. So welcome everyone uh, from around the country and around the world. So excited to have you in my home today. So we are going to be going over the DAISY cybersecurity badge. So I'm really excited to talk to you guys all about computers um, and how to keep them safe. So cybersecurity is kind of a weird word. So what that means is that it's how we keep information that's stored in a computer safe. So um, it sounds weird, but it's kind of actually not that hard of a concept. So um, the three steps for this badge um, is one, to learn all about computers. Step two is to learn about how you could protect something that's valuable. And step three is to discover how you are connected just like computers. So today we are going to do steps one and two together, and then you can do step three to complete the badge on your own at home. All right, so to start with step one, I've got a few different devices in front of me here that I'm gonna show you, and I will just have you all drop in the comments um, which one of them you think is a computer. So I have a smartphone right here. I have a video game player. And I also have a laptop. So which one do you guys think is a computer? Just drop in the comments when you have a guess. Christina says all of them. That is correct, Christina. Um, all of these are different kinds of computers. So the very first computers, when computers were first invented, they actually were so big that they took up an entire room. So over the years, technology has gotten way better, and now we can actually fit a computer in the palm of our hands. So also, nowadays, we find computers in places that we maybe wouldn't have found them before. So just a couple examples are cars now have computers, um, TVs, and airplanes. So if you can, so um, computers now are part of our everyday lives, um, but they we didn't always have computers to rely on, but they certainly do make our lives a lot easier. Okay, so we're just gonna really quickly talk about um, a few main computer parts that are inside of the computer. Um, that kind of help make the computer work. So uh, one of them is called the central processing unit, um, which is basically the computer's brain. So it tells other parts of the computer what to do. There's also a motherboard, which is a circuit board uh, that transfers electricity and information um, throughout different parts of a computer. There's also a hard drive, which stores information like pictures and videos um, in the computer. And that is what is so important to keep safe because we don't want just anyone and everyone having access um, to the things that we have stored in our computers. So that's pretty much it for step one. So we're learning a little bit more about computers and now you kind of know a bit, uh, how they work. Okay, so now we're going to move on to step two, uh, which is learning how we create layers of security or keep things um, in our own lives safe. Um, and how we can keep computers safe too is not really that much different from how we keep ourselves safe and how we keep things in our own lives safe. So just a couple of examples I have here. So you might use a key to lock things, such as your front door, um, so that not everybody can just get into your home um, and take all your stuff. Um, we don't want just anybody coming into our homes, right? So we use a key, um, and only the people that have the key, so your family, um, would have keys, and they're the ones that can unlock the door and get into your home. So we don't just give out keys to anybody. Um, I also have a, another example of a different kind of key. So this is a car key that I use for my car. Um, and it has not only just like a regular key that I use to start the car um, so that I can drive it, but it also has a button that I can press to unlock the door. And it has 
another even another layer of security with this, um, which is a car alarm. So if I have the car alarm enabled, then if somebody were to try to open my car that wasn't me and didn't have this key, then an alarm would go off and it would be really loud. And then everybody around would see that somebody's trying to get into my car and doesn't have the key. So that's a really cool layer of security um, that we have. And one thing I just learned too about car keys is that this isn't actually a computer, but it, um, it uses radio waves to transmit with my car's computer and it communicates um, that I want to unlock my car and that's how that works. That's pretty cool. So um, this is another type of lock. So I use this lock to actually lock the shed um, in my backyard so that I can keep all of my um, yard tools safe and my lawnmower and things like that. Um, this one, you just need a small key to unlock. And I was trying to find one that had um, a combination, but unfortunately I didn't have one of those today. But those are really cool. If you've ever seen one with a uh, um, combination, maybe like on a locker, if your school has lockers. Um, it's just a, a series of numbers and you just have to put in a different combination of those numbers to unlock the lock. Um, and that is actually really similar to a computer password. It's a code that you have to know in order to be um, able to unlock the thing that you want to unlock. So um, these are just different layers of security that we use to keep things safe. Oh, I have one more example. Um, so one thing that I use in my home um, to hide keys um, is this fun little thing right here. So this um, actually looks just like a picture that you would hang on your wall and you wouldn't know that actually um, it hides keys. So if you take this piece and you lift it up, you'll see that there are hooks on here that I could actually hang my car key on. And then I can, it's a little hard to do if I'm holding it up, so I'm just gonna put it back together and then no one knows where my keys are. So that's a fun uh, way to create just an additional layer of security um, so that it would make it more uh, difficult for somebody to take. All right, so now that we've learned a little bit more about different layers of security, we're gonna actually create our own layers of security for something that's important to us. Um, and this is our activity for the day. So we're gonna imagine that you have a magic pebble that can grant you any wish that you want um, and only you know about it. Only you and your family know about this magic pebble. So I have a little rock here that I'm gonna use as my magic pebble and what I'm going to do is I am going to find a way uh, to create some different layers of security so that if someone's in my house, then they can't find it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it in this little paper here so then not anybody can just see it. All right, so now I've got it wrapped up. Here we go. And then I'm gonna put it in a box. So I'm gonna create an additional layer of security. All right, so I've got it in a box here. But you know, maybe if somebody saw this box, they would think, ooh, I wonder what's in that box. So they might open it up. So I'm gonna create another layer of security. I'm gonna put it in another box. But before I put it in another box, I'm gonna wrap it again in a cloth and I'm gonna then I'm gonna put it in this box all right might be a little tough to put in the box here but we're gonna make it work all right so now we have how many layers of security we have one two three 
three, four layers of security. So now not only do we have this in uh, four different layers of security, we have a little bit of what we call a decoy, which is something that kind of like tricks somebody into thinking that this is something else um, other than what's actually in here. So this box says aromatherapy diffuser, um, which it definitely is not an aromatherapy diffuser in here. As you know, um, this is where my magic pebble is. So what I'm gonna do is then I'm going to hide this somewhere in my home. Maybe I'll hide it in my closet um, or another place where I don't think somebody would look for it. So we have, as you can see, so many different layers of security um, so that we can keep our magic pebble safe. So this is something that you can do on your own at home and you can get really creative with it. You don't have to do what I did. Um, you can decorate your box, you can write something on it um, so that people think it's something else. Um, explore different places or ways that you can hide your magic pebble um, and definitely tell us what you guys end up doing. Um, we would love to hear what you've decided to do with your uh, magic pebble and how you keep that safe. All right, so uh, this is the same thing that we do with keeping information in a computer safe. So we create layers of protection um, or security to keep um, things that are important or valuable to us safe. So um, there's a lot of information in computers that we don't want other people to know. So for example, we don't want people knowing our address, where we live, we don't want people knowing where we go to school, things like that. And so if that information is stored somewhere, we wanna make sure um, that we are keeping that information um, safe and protected so that no one that shouldn't have that information can find it. And that is basically cybersecurity. So that is kind of all that we have um, for our activity today. So to recap, what we've done today is steps one and two of DAISY cybersecurity. So we learned all about computers and we also learned to keep something valuable to us safe. And then on your own at home, you can learn how we are connected just like computers. So to do this at home, you can learn how we connect with people all around the world on computers, um, just like we're doing now. So, um, and if you have enjoyed our video today, um, you can go to girlscouts.org join if you're not a member to learn more about how to join Girl Scouts. And 